Today we're gonna go to Hillman Brewery, followed by the Drum Circle in downtown Asheville. But first, we're going to take you on one of the hidden gems nearby. It's on the way. It is the Riverwalk. So we're here at the entrance for Owen Lake Park. It's like a minute drive from our house. It's kind of easy to miss in front of this big industrial building, but there is a nice park back there. And that's where the entrance to the Riverwalk is. Let's go. So this is a big one, approximately one mile loop. A lot of people come here to walk their dogs, watch birds and ducks. And there's also a basketball court and a baseball field here too. So we're here at the banks of the Swatanoa River. It, uh, it's right next to the big loop that Sarah was just talking to you guys about. This flows into the French Broad right through Asheville. French Broad is actually the third oldest river in the world. Uh, speaking of history in this area, one of the largest Native American settlements in North America was found in this area in the Swannanoa Valley. And the first Europeans in this area came to the Swannanoa Valley here to first settle. So now we're going to take you over to the entrance of the river wall. the entrance. If you don't know what to look for, you might miss it. It's right next to that 0.83 sign. This is a really easy hike, but you may want to wear hiking boots because there's a lot of things to trip on, like roots and rocks and leaves and all that kind of stuff. So this is the start of, of Warren Wilson's property here on the Riverwalk Trail. It's uh, Warren Wilson is a small like agricultural college. I think it's like a sustainable agricultural college here. It's fun to know it. Uh, if I can go back in time, where I'd probably go to college. Welcome to the beautiful, majestic bamboo forest. There's bamboo, there's a river. What more could you want? Wait, you want cows? All right, let's go. So we made it partially through the river trail. It actually goes a lot further down. Uh, this is usually the area we walk to. It's uh, right at Warren Wilson College, right on Warren Wilson Road. So we're gonna go try to find out where the cows are. Sometimes they're on one side of the road, sometimes they're on the other. Sometimes they're all the way down there, but uh, we'll find them and we'll show you guys the big herd of cows. Well, I have some bad news. We couldn't find the cows, they must be hiding. But the good news is, is we're just 15 minutes to downtown Asheville. That's where we're headed. We also have a coupon code for you. If you wanted to stay anywhere in the world with Airbnb, you get $40 off your first stay. That's where Chad and I always stay. We love Airbnb. We're gonna do some Airbnb reviews in the near future. Make sure you subscribe for that. Let's go to Hillman Beer, woo! So we're here at Hillman Beer. Actually, one of our full disclosure, one of our friends, Brad. Uh, he's the brewer here, but but it's still good. Yeah, it's still really good. Um, I got a flight that I'm gonna sample. Uh, we got a little bit of food, and they also have gluten-free and vegan options, just like anywhere yep. else in Asheville. This is near Biltmore too, by the way. Yeah, Biltmore's right down the street, down there. 
So let's try the first one. We got an ESB. This is like a 6% alcohol here. And I'll be driving, so I'm not drinking beer. Um, so I'm not really like a beer connoisseur. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna like say whether it tastes good or not. But I, I definitely like ESB. It's kind of one of my go-to beers. It's not like super hoppy or anything. Let's do the uh, Saison. I'm pretty big into like Belgian beers. Yeah, Saison's really good. So we got an Imperial Stout here too. I'm not a huge fan of Imperial Stout, but I figure I'll try some stuff that I'm usually not into. It's actually pretty good. I could drink this. So they also have a award-winning beer here. I forget what the award is. Uh, we'll put it in the description if I can find it. Uh, but this is a pretty pretty new brewery. It opened this year, and they're already winning national awards. This is the uh, Four Fat Baby. It's 10% Belgian quad. Will it turn you into a fat baby? If I was a fat baby, I'd drink a lot of beer. I ordered falafels with a kale salad. It has raisins in it. Chad so ordered a kale salad with turkey. This is so good. I also ordered a pecan pie. Everything that we're eating, everything on the menu is made here. We're on our way to the Asheville Drum Circle next. We made it to Pritchard Park, the drum circle. It's actually not going on tonight. It's too cold outside, so. Uh, it's usually every Friday night from like six to like nine or 10 o'clock at night. Uh, but once it gets cold, it starts to move indoors. Uh, so I hear it's at New Mountain. That's where it usually is when it's cold. So we're gonna go check that out and see if it's there. Wah, wah. No bueno. Unfortunately, it's too cold tonight for the drum circle. We really tried, but we hope to get it on film in the near future. If you want to see it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Tell us what else you want to see more of. Leave us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching.